Earlier this year, I did a video on the channel here showing you how to reset your Android advertising ID so that you could opt out of personalized ads. And while this was a useful tip, it was very limited because that was all Google allowed us to do. However, with the Android 12 update, we can now completely delete our advertising ID on Android. And I'm going to show you how to do that in today's video. So if you are running Android 11 and earlier, you are still only going to have this reset advertising ID option available. It's only Android 12 and up that you will have the ability to delete this advertising ID entirely. So if you are running those earlier versions of Android and you want to limit the amount of data Google has on you for ads, then definitely check out that video. I'll be linking to it in the video description below. But if you are on Android 12, we can delete our advertising ID completely by going into the settings application, scrolling down a little bit until we see the privacy option, going into that menu, scrolling all the way down so that we can see the ads menu. And then when we go into this ads section, you can still see we have that reset advertising ID option. And we can still reset our advertising ID if you want to do that. This will replace your device's advertising ID with a new random number. Apps will still be able to show you ads, but for a while these ads will likely be less relevant than they were before since Google needs to build up that relevancy ad database for you again. However, in Android 12 and up, starting now, users are seeing this delete advertising ID option within the settings area. And when we go into this area, we can see this will delete our current advertising ID. Apps will still be able to show you ads, but they likely will not be as relevant as before. It's the same message we got for resetting the ID except when we reset it, Google is going to start building up that database again. If we delete our advertising ID, Google will no longer, and our apps will no longer be able to use that relevancy database for ads. So again, this is not going to prevent ads from showing on your device, but if we delete the advertising ID, then we will no longer receive personalized ads on this specific device. You can see here that if we want to opt back into personalized ads, we can still come right back to this ads section in the privacy menu and tap on the get a new advertising ID and simply confirm this. We'll get those options back again, but this is where we'll go to delete our advertising ID so that we are no longer served personalized ads on our Android device.